and 2023 Pac Player of the Year. He wears number 11 for the Miami Heat. I need you guys to make some noise and give it up for Jaime Jaquez Jr. I just want to give it up. From your college career going into the NBA, what does that mean to you and how is that transition? Um, it's been a great transition. Um, I did four years at college, UCLA, go Bruin. Um, it, was a, it was a great time. Uh, I learned a lot. I got to grow as a, as a man, um, you know, and then take my talents on to, to my next venture, which is the NBA, and just still growing um, and, and learning. And we love that for you. Keep learning, keep growing, right, kids? All of you, some of you are athletes and want to learn and grow. But, Jaime, so the NBA has been increasingly vocal about social justice issues. How do you plan to use your platform as an NBA player to advocate for positivity and change in the community? Um, I think it's very important, uh, especially with the platform that I have along with my NBA peers, um, to use our voices for positivity and, and for good. Um, so one of the things that I do is I have a, a scholarship foundation um, at UCLA that helps kids who cannot ne not necessarily pay for college, but who have the brains and, and education to get in. Um, so we just try to help them and, and give them scholarship money so that they don't have to worry about um, you know, getting in debt or anything like that. So that, that, that's one way that we try to help. Uh, Jaime, what advice would you give to these amazing young athletes who aspire to follow in your footsteps and make it to the NBA someday? Um, the one thing I would say is just, if you're passionate about it, continue to um, explore that passion and find what you love to do um, and do it unconditionally. I think that is the biggest advice that I could give to anybody. Um, I know for myself and my experience, basketball is what I wanted to do. I chose that from the moment that I knew that's what I wanted to do and just followed that through on, um, and it's led me here. So if you if you really love something, put your all into it, and you never know where it might lead you. What does that mean to you? Not a lot of people look like you or might be like that in this league and get those opportunities. What does that mean to you to represent? Um, it means a lot. Uh, for myself, it means represent, representing something bigger than me. Um, I recognize that I represent something a lot bigger now. And so when I go out and I play um, and, and I speak, I, I try to keep that in mind at all times. Um, and you know, it's, it's amazing to see how diverse the NBA is getting now. Um, you see so many European players um, coming from all over, and now you know, you're seeing more people from Latin America coming and showing their talents. And as the future goes on, you know, so it's only going to get more diverse. And, it's very exciting to see. We love that. And the last question, how do you envision leveraging your status as an NBA player to inspire others, particularly these amazing young people, to get involved in philanthropy and community service? I mean, I think it's, I think it's very important. Um, you know, you guys look at NBA players and, and people of this status as something um, bigger than, than you are, but that's not necessarily the case. You know, we're, we're humans just like you. We come from you know the same upbringings as you guys do. Um, so when we get here, it's our job to give back and try to help in, in any way we can. And so for those of you who want to follow those footsteps, just remember you know remember where you came from, um, and remember that you know if you have a opportunity to help, that you should.